Oh, but it's actually not good morning. I've come here today to absolute carnage. Oh God, absolute bugger. I can't believe he's done that. How could this day go any worse? Good morning guys, welcome back to My Allotment Diaries. My name's Emma, these are My Allotment Diaries. I film uh, three times a week and put up My Allotment Diaries, just what I'm getting up to on My Allotment Plot in South London. It's not a how-to gardening show guys, so if you're watching it for advice on how to do stuff properly, this is probably not the channel for you. There are lots of fantastic how-to. What am I standing on? Lots of fantastic how-to channels out there, so go check them out. Um, this is just a what I'm getting up to. Follow along if you're interested in seeing what an average, normal, typical novice allotmenter is getting up to on her plot. And I wish that I could just say good morning, good morning, but it's actually not good morning. I've come here today to absolute carnage and I'm gutted. <laughs> this is what I've turned up to today, guys. This is Fox business, this is. I can't believe he's done this, I'm absolutely gutted he's annihilated this entire structure he's just destroyed it to get in there i can't believe he's done it like i don't even know i can't even make a joke of it to be honest i worked so hard what were you doing hey eh? how did you help nothing einstein nothing no one helped oh he's a little bugger isn't he i can't believe he's done this i actually could cry right now i actually could cry I don't know if he's just trampled on them. Oh, actually, that one is actually alive. I thought he'd decapitated that one, but he hasn't. Some of them have been snapped. I think he's just walked in here. That's all he's done. Oh, why has he done this? He's a little bugger, isn't he? It took me ages to plant all of those. The birds are waiting for me. All right, hang on, birdies. Here you are. Oh, God. Oh, God. I know it's my fault because I fed him. I know it's my bloody fault, but even so, I thought he'd leave him alone, man. What does he want in there anyway? He doesn't need brassicas. What's a fox eat a cabbage for? I'm supposed to try and eat Einstein, not my cabbages. God, there was me the other week going on about how the fox is actually all right. I don't mind this fox, this fox is all right. Bloody not. I've got to put something up to deter him now, I've got to. I've got to get a fox deterrent. Matter of urgency, I think, because he's ripped up something else as well. I don't think he's gone for the broad beans. I don't think he's tried to get in there. They seem pretty relatively okay. That might be all the this, this spikes and stuff in there. Maybe I should put that in there in the brassica bed but over here he's taken off the fleece so this is the salad bed that I planted I actually put some uh, fleece over it and he's pulled all that up I mean this one could have been the wind to be fair but I have a sneaking suspicion it was foxy right we've corrected them too now Hopefully he won't come back and do that again, but there's nothing to stop him from doing it. So I'm going to have to think of a fox deterrent today. I have to think of a bit of a makeshift fox deterrent today um, before I can actually buy one. I think I have to get one of those little cat squeaker things. You know the ones that like squeal? Um, they like make a high pitched sound basically. Oh, the robins are surrounding me. They probably know. They know. They know it's been going down. Has anything been damaged down here? I'll be gutted. I think I'm going to cry. I think I'm going to cry if it has. No, I think the teepee's okay. Yeah, I see lots of green on there. Sweet pea teepee's okay, it's surviving. Even if he has been in here, it's not. He's not killed anything. I think there's enough of them to be okay. I just can't believe that one fox can just come around and cause so much damage. Because if I'm not here for like two days in a row, that's it. You know, everything in my whole plot just gets dug up and it's just gone. It's very vulnerable in this bed. Hello B. Right, right, I surrender. Right, I've got some beetroot coming up there. You didn't dig quite in the beetroot row, so that's good. I've got some parsnips coming up. Oh, that's good news. Yay. Okay. These are parsnips. These are parsnips coming up here. 
We've also got the beetroot coming up. He didn't quite dig in the row. He dug between the row, so that's good. And then we've got the spinach over there. So this is all, this bed's fine. Doesn't seem bothered by this bed. It's just the ones that I've covered. It's almost like it's a temptation for him. If I cover a bed up, he's like, what's in it? What's in it? I want to get in it. But if I leave a bed open, he's like, no, I'm not bothered with that one. Absolute bugger. I can't believe he's done that. Oh, what an absolute drab to a Friday morning. <laughs> Right, I'm trying to stay upbeat and happy now and not blame an animal. You know me, I'm not one to hold grudges against foxes and cats. I can't find my scissors now. I really needed them today, I really needed my scissors. Oh God. I feel like we're off to a bad start and it's just gonna get worse. I just feel that way. Um, it might make an entertaining vlog though, so at least, at the very least, it'd be that. But yeah, I can't find my scissors. So, I might have to use something in, in might have to use something else. I just need something sharp, don't I? That's all I need. Oh, I know. This thing here. This is quite sharp. That will do in the place of scissors. Oh, just where did I put them? Um... Anyway, the idea today was to make the, the pea structure because, um, well, I did think the peas would be ready, but actually only two have germinated. So I planted my pea seeds in this guttering um, to try and be clever but only two of them have germinated right at the end, which is a bit annoying, and I don't know where the other ones are. It may be that I have to purchase some pea plug plants, and that's fine by me. I don't care anymore. I just want plants in. I don't care if I've grown them from a seed or not anymore. Right, so my peas are going to go here. I've got these two poles in at the moment. As you can see, it's being held up by a bit of a, a bungee tie thing there, but we need to make the actual structure for them. Um, and then I might just have to buy some pea plants, but that's that's another matter. Let's get the structure made first. Good old structure building, what could go wrong? go any worse I've literally just punched myself oh god just punched myself in the face honestly right come on Emma pull it together <laughs> landed on my camera and smashed it on the floor. Oh, this is not my day, is it? This is not my day. Einstein's keeping a very close eye on me today, aren't you, mate? You're keeping a close eye on what I'm doing. Look at him turning his back to you. Honestly. Now watching me, watching me and pooing. Yeah, saying thank you for making me a new toilet. You're welcome, Einstein. Yeah. Right, so very, very simple pea structure. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. We've got the structure in place and then the, the string, the twine that they'll climb up. And then I've just pegged the bottom in you can just see a couple of pegs there that I just pushed in just to keep it secure stop it blowing away or whatever it's going to do um that'll probably all be snapped by the next time I come down here but hey ho we gave it a go also as I've been making this I've just been looking over there a lot of big birds keep flying down to my brassica thing and I'm wondering if I've blamed the fox whereas actually it's the birds because those birds are quite big I, my first thought was birds can't do that no way can birds do that but actually the size of them they're like eagles you know they're like vultures so maybe it's the birds in which case I might need to do some bird deterring yeah okay let's deter everything let's just deter everything except Einstein <laughs> My mouth really hurts where I punch myself. <laughs> I'm 
imagine going, imagine like it was so bad that I knocked a tooth out and I had to go to A&E and say, oh yeah, I was just making a pee structure and I punched myself in the face. God's sakes, what is wrong with me? There was another job I was going to do, but I think it's more urgent to sort out whatever destroyed all of my netting here. And I have a sneaking feeling now it's birds. If it's birds, what we need is a scarecrow. I don't have one. And Harry, I don't know if you can see, but his head it's like a medieval sort of torture thing. I've stuck a head on a spike. Um, it deters humans, I think, not birds. So we need to make another one, I think, just temporarily to try and deter these blooming birds because I think it might be them. Okay, easy to make a scarecrow, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I can see it in my head now, it's so easy. We just need some sticks. Let's get some sticks. <laughs> There's an old coat in here somewhere. If I can get it out, I'm scared of my shed, but um, there is a coat there. There's a spider in there. Don't freak out! Oh, don't be a spider! Oh, there's a spider! There's a spider in it! Why? There's my scarecrow. I feel like it might need a head. <laughs> oh my god. You know what though? You know what's really funny? This is going to scare me more than it scares any animal or any bird because I'm going to forget immediately that I built him and every time I glance at the corner of my eye I'm going to think someone's standing there staring at me and he is scary. Harry's definitely had an upgrade. <laughs> He's got a coat and everything. You know what I feel like? Have you ever seen that um, film Return to Oz and she sort of makes things and then she puts the potion over and it turns to life and she makes that like pumpkin man that's what it's like he's like a pumpkin man isn't he creepy oh what do the birds think i have to wait and find out what the birds think of him if they sort of just land on his head and sit around him then they obviously don't believe it but actually he does sway a little bit as well in the wind yeah he's quite scary you know i think he might do the job it's not quite the look i was going for at my allotment plot but <laughs> i think it's more important to keep these guys alive so he's watching over him He's watching over all of you. Yeah, you better be, better beware, birdies. Yeah, Harry's here. <laughs> right, well, there was one more job I wanted to do while I was here, um, and it's actually quite a small job, and it was to help out the bees. I've been thinking, because there's been a lot of bees around recently, I'm a little bit worried about them going in my pond for water, so I was gonna use the other dish to make a shallow pool of water for them. Um, and for you, Einstein, if you want to use it. Oh, hang on, the bird's coming. What do you think of him? Who's that? Who's that, Einstein? Who's that over there? Oh. Yeah. He's to scare the big birds away, not you. But please don't land on him. Oh, look, there they come. There they come. Are they going to think that that's a person? I have to wait and see. Anyway, I'll make my little bee thing and I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, and then we'll, we'll wait and see if any birds come and land on the scarecrow. I've got a feeling they're just going to be sitting on him. Next time I'm here, there'll just be a line of crows sitting on him. Just a little row of them sitting on him, just having a chat. Yeah. <laughs> Quite well, where I want to go. 
God. <laughs> Bloody hell, this is going so wrong today. Right. Dirty, actually, it's cleaning. Right. Get rid of that water because it's brown. a lot more rocks in it. I've got some actually smaller stones at home that I can bring in a bag and um, that I brought from a shop so they're really good and I'll put them all over there like a little beach but the idea is that smaller insects and bees can get a drink without drowning and um, because my pond is looking a little bit covered in uh, pond weed and it's quite deep in there and I don't know yeah, I've just been seeing so many more like bees around recently, um, just over the last week or so. And I've just been thinking, gosh, have they got enough water? Have they got enough flowers to eat and stuff? Because it's quite early um, for the bees to be out. And there doesn't seem to be many flowers around and stuff. So I was just sort of getting a little bit worried about them. <laughs> Harry <laughs> got me. <laughs> oh, I keep catching him out the corner of my eye and thinking, ooh, who's that? <laughs> anyway, um, I'll bring some more rocks for that, but that is for the bees. They're sitting on him. The robins are sitting on him. They're setting a bad example for the bigger birds. Why? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my allotment diary today. It's been eventful, it's been fun, it's been completely and utterly unplanned, but there we go. Sometimes it is down here. Um, I'm really hoping that the Foxy leaves that alone now, but if you've got any great easy fox deterrent ideas for me please let me know because I, I don't want to resort to spraying it and putting up spikes and stuff if I can help it but if that's what I need to do then you know I really want brassicas I really want my cabbages to grow so it's just one of those things isn't it but um yeah anyway let me know any ideas in the comments I would really appreciate them and I will see you again in my next vlog there's not going to be a vlog on Monday guys because it is uh, Easter Monday but I will be back next Wednesday and Friday so I will see you then thanks for watching guys bye